Hello everyone, my name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and thanks for joining me here. Uh, let's continue playing as the United States, Democratic United States, in our Hearts of Iron 4 campaign here. As we will try this episode to invade the home island of Japan. Now that being said, we do have a couple uh, divisions moving around the cabin. And let's see, actually I want to put you guys over here. Please make your way over here as soon as you can. As we begin to attempt to bomb the home islands with a couple boys here. 400. Oh, you deploying? Oh, I have a couple Oh, heavy fighters trying to do something over here. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, they have a couple of tactical bombers as well. Uh, but we definitely have some tactical bombers striking the home islands, which is good. I'm trying to do attack their uranium, or I guess nuclear reactors, their radio, radio stations, radar stations. Uh, definitely anti-air as well as air bases, yeah, air bases. Uh, you know what, we can strike the naval ports and do some port strikes. No naval strikes, just port strikes, since we're really focusing on the infrastructure of Japan currently. We have some marines here. Oh, and the, okay, they're over here and they're trying to get inside here. Also, why are my ships coming, why are they coming over here? Did I, I might have told them to rebase. Uh, I would like you to do this, naval invasion support right here. Don't really need to do any sort of anti-air at the moment. Uh, I don't want them to seek anything out. I don't want them to seek any convoys, no ships, nothing like that. Mostly because I want to make sure that when my divisions get to the island here, Okinawa, I want them to be able to come to Okinawa easily. Very, very easily. Let's see, over here we are... Oh wait, we need to bump this station back up all the way. Max out radar, max out air bases. AA guns don't really matter. Probably not too much. And definitely max up the ports. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, do I need to build any more military factories? Probably, honestly, I do. Which we already are, Illinois and Ohio. But we could probably boost it up by one more group. Kentucky, because it's got two slots. Instead of that other state that had several others. Lost a plane. Yeah, just some naval bombers are trying to strike some things over here. They're not even attacking my ships, which is good. I don't want them to attack my ships. Medium risk, yeah, I don't want anything bad happen here. So We're trying to attack some convoys, but I don't need my guys to really attack convoys. Oh, we're getting quite a few heavy fighters since we last saw them. We were at 16 last time, but now we're at 56. What's going on over here? Uh, oh, 80. 84 out of 88? Uh, let's go up to 100 for you guys as well. Oh, we have a carrier down here. This is the Atlantic Strike Force Task Force Fleet. You are not doing anything. Oh, you guys are doing naval invasion support. But you're docked. I don't, I don't mind you guys coming here, but don't come over there. That doesn't make any sense to repair. Level 10 is definitely better than a canceled level 1. Uh, you're splitting off, which is not good. Take some boys with you. Oh god, no. Oh god. Where are you all going? Seriously, where are you going? Why don't you repair in Manila? Oh, you come up here. Okay. You can come to Taiwan. It's also level 10 port, so that's not too bad, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's almost like no damage done. 5% damage lost. Eh, whatever. Oh, uh, we sunk th two enemy convoys. How is the air... They're not trying to defend their... Okay, they are trying to defend their airspace a little bit. Ooh, Department of Defense. Nice. They are scrambling our planes quite a bit. Obviously, we don't really have really any... Wait. Heavy fighters. We already have heavy fighters guarding the East China Sea, so... Actually, just do the home islands. Yeah. Let's see. We need another focus here. Wartime Industries. War plan gold. War plan. War plans. War plans. War plans. Armored infantry sounds kind of nice. Mobilization speed, recruitable population, but we already have 2.3 million. I will have to take this focus, though. The Women's Armed Service Integration Act. When we go to war with the Axis, for real. I, de I know we definitely will have to. Close air support, I'm not really using that. Uh, Lockheed P-38 Lightning, Republic P-34 Thunderbolts, and then XP something. Even though I already know we had the XPs done. Yeah. Oh, I can... Completely missed the focus for all the heavy fighters. Okay. Well, that's useless then. It's good to know. 
So I can't do escort fighters because that's a complete waste at this point. Maritime commission, more dockyard construction speed, which we're all pretty good on dockyards as as is now. Trade convoy production, which isn't too bad. Amphibious invasion speed isn't bad either. More marines, even though I've already done marines one. Uh, I'm really running. I think is a research. Ah, let's do uh, Louisiana maneuvers. Even though we already have the land doctrine done, we'll get a little more army XP. Yeah, but this will get us a little closer to. Oh, marines are done. Cool, great. Uh, don't die on the way over here, because if you do, then you're it's just a waste to make you. So come on over to midway. Please don't die for the love of God. I can't remember what I was saying now, but that's okay. Oh, look, Mexicans are in the water. Oh, their destroyers are. Cool. Very cool, Mexico. At least you're doing your part guarding all of our coasts. Two planes down. Alright, so, um, not much is really going on. However, there is some kerfuffling ever since the incident, I will say, in the country next to... Australia. So down here, we've—I'm sure by now you've all heard about what the incident happened last week. I'm going to call it for the incident because YouTube is striking or hitting channels that refer to the incident at all. So I'm—I'm I'm only going to say the incident. That being said, uh, it's not just YouTube striking down things, striking down um, channels, and I guess sayings and words like that. Uh. Unfortunately, it directly affects, or I guess indirectly affects, Hearts of Iron 4 and its community. There ultimately will be more censorship, especially if you're on the Reddit, which in your opinion could be good, could be bad, doesn't really matter, but it does affect people on Discord. They ban a lot of people, apparently, who play Hearts of Iron 4, who, you know, want to play with other people in Hearts of Iron 4. Then they just ban them straight out because they're probably thinking that people who play Hearts of Iron 4 are extremists, and I don't think I'm an extremist. Maybe as an American, maybe I am. I don't think I am. I really hope I'm not. I'm not an extremist. I'll put that out there for, right, for you guys right now, but uh, it's just there's a lot of problems going on, and if you're ever going to be wondering whether I'm going to be making more edgy jokes, which I love making, of course. I love. I don't. I, maybe I don't, I'm not going to say I love it. But it's just become a part of me at this point. Making edgy jokes is just... It's humorous. Yeah, you don't want to be too offensive. I don't mind a, lo a little bit of mild sensitivity. But, regardless. I will continue to make role-playing jokes as we go on. Which includes titles of videos and stuff like that. But, there is some censorship. Probably even more censorship coming in the coming uh, months, years. Especially with Hearts of Iron 4. Because, you know, we're talking about communists. We're talking about Nazis here. And Ireland is dying. Oh god. This is the end. This is the end of Ireland, which means it's probably going to be the end of the UK very soon. Because how many divisions do you have? So. Oh, at least you have 15. At one point, I think last episode we checked, they had one. Just just defend yourself, UK. I'm coming. It's just taking me a while, okay? I'm coming. Don't you worry. Uh, did you guys make it yet? No, you're still moving in the water. That's fine. Speed it up a little bit. Uh, really, right now, what we're going to do... And there goes Ireland is unfortunately keep playing this game which I love so much oh the campaign of Douglas MacArthur I've never seen this to challenge Roosevelt's record lengthy presidency the Republicans have looked to respected military commanders hoping to find a potential candidate to take America th through this war General Douglas MacArthur has been a popular nominee among conservatives but he is also an indispensable asset in the ongoing conflict and has been reluctant to spend his time campaigning for the presidency he nevertheless remains one of the more promising conservative candidates and can perhaps be convinced to campaign to avoid getting a moderate Republican president. Is it worth the sacrifice? Uh, I'm gonna. I wanted to play historically, even though this has become very ahistorical. So I'm going to still play historically. So MacArthur is needed on the front lines more than the White House, which I'll agree. And it's 1944, so we're going to keep FDR. And hopefully he lasts past April. God, what are they hitting? A lot of planes. Oh, the people over there. So to invade Japan, I really need these Marines. But I also need these soldiers that we have around here. I'm going to definitely need more than three soldiers, though. Definitely. So you guys are here. Good. And do I have... Oh, I have two more soldiers over here. Awesome. So you and you will make it to Okinawa. That's your goal. So we have a few more divisions, kind of... Oh. Um... So, those are those three over here. What about this division? You two, try to make it over here. 
I know there's quite a few divisions I'm putting over here, but I'm going to need every single division we have. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do we have any more fighters? Because I will need max out air superiority when we take try to take Japan out. No. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of naval bombers, which is cool. I don't mind putting in some naval bombers. Some more naval bombers, at least. But, we are currently trying to research some flying fortresses. Very nice. Oh, American. Most well, Mustang was done. And we'll get some of this. Uh, before we go any further, we are researching nukes, which is 92% done in near the end of 1944. Very cool. Holy! What the? Whoa, where did this come from? So, apparently we had to battle the Philippine Sea. We lost a heavy cruiser, which was 1936, so it's not really that much of a loss. It's a heavy cruiser, for God's sakes. But we sunk three carriers, which includes a 1940 carrier and the pride of their fleet. Three light cruisers, seven destroyers, and a plane, in which, the again, the only sole survivor on the Japanese side was a carrier fighter. This is like deja vu. Don't worry about this one. This only lost three convoys. Don't worry about that. But holy cow. Holy smokeronies. Also, uh, that's really awesome. But, uh, let's see. Carriers. Where are these? What are all these groups doing? Florida. Oh, we need some more chromium. Oh, 1944. Oh, we. Oh, those use chromium. Oh, that is not good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can't make anything. We can't make a lot of things without chromium. That sucks. Uh, planes. Oh, we have. Fighter threes, but I'm not even going to use those. There's no point for me to. Oh, we need to make these definitely basic amphibious tractors because we will need them when we invade probably the Axis if we invade from the UK, which I honestly don't think I'm going to do. We're probably going to have to fight through Siberia. Was there something else we had to research or build? Ah, uh, yeah, mechanized. Nah, I'm not going to do that. So you guys are fine. Uh, destroyer. Oh, we have no really not that much naval XP, but how are these fleets doing? You have. The Asiatic Fleet has 14 destroyers. That's probably too much. Asiatic Fleet has 10, which... Uh, three, 3 of here. 3 times 4 is 12, so that's okay. Keep making those. So the Asiatic Fleet really doesn't need any more destroyers. Uh, where are you all going? The Asiatic Strike Force Fleet in Manila. Atlantic. Oh, so I'm trying to make some heavy ships, more heavy ships in my Atlantic Strike Force Fleet, which makes sense. Uh, let's speed the time up so we can make more planes here. Mm, super heavy battleship, same thing. Destroyers for the main Pacific Strike Force fleet. Carrier hull for the Task Force 9. Now that's interesting. Task Force 9. Uh, one carrier is good enough for this type of group. Let's select all. If I needed another carrier, I would probably put it in either 7, 10, 12. Definitely put it in 12. Put the carrier in Strike Force fleet 12. And then battleships, battle cruisers. Yeah, that's a light cruiser. That's okay then. Battleships, battle force. We really could use another fleet. You have one carrier in total. This is Atlantic fleet. The Atlantic fleet. Wait, this is Asiatic fleet two. Fleet two. Since this is the patrol group for the Atlantic Ocean, I put. We'll put a carrier in the Asian fleet. And Asian Fleet 3. So Asian Fleet either regular or Asian Fleet 3. And really, we should be making a few more fleets, but I'm going to leave that for now. I'll probably deal with that in a little bit, or at least after the war with Japan. Holy crap, what is going on? Convoys? They still have more convoys. They lost a plane, but that's pretty typical. Shot down a plane, shot down a plane, shot down a plane. I think they're trying to hit... What are they trying to hit? Oh, I have convoys coming through. Uh, they must have a lot of air, like, air bases down here in Papau, the Papau region. And maybe even over here, they've got convoys coming to and through. And I know the Jap J Japanese are out of strength when it... Oh, where are you guys? Oh, you guys are over here. Cool. Now make it over here. I swear to God, you have to make it over here. Because you are, like, the guys I'm going to need to invade Japan. How is Japan doing? Like... Did we hit their airbase a little bit? Uh, okay, so they're at one out of three. So their airbases have been hit a little bit. Nagasaki, uh, they are currently one out of six. Dang, this strategic bombing isn't a bad idea to do sometimes. 
Uh, Hiroshima obviously has maxed out stats still, but at least this island of Kyushu is receiving some damage. Yeah, because that's as far as we can get. So that's actually not bad. If we have to invade, we will invade this area. <sighs> Nagasaki, I know, has a ton of soldiers. So if I'm going to invade, I will have to invade this area where my mouse is right now, where my mouse is pointing at. <sighs> to cut off Nagasaki from supplies and take these other, you know, areas that are connected to the Japanese mainland while trying to build up a naval base and take out Nagasaki for ourselves. I don't really want to nuke them. I really don't want to. Because that would hurt our supply when we do invade. But um, th why is there no option for me to use nukes yet? Well, maybe maybe we'll get one. Uh, let's see, we have eight nuclear reactors. I can't believe we already built eight. And we'll have a nuclear bomb in 46 days. Very cool. Uh, 1944 tech. How much chromium am I extracting? Three. That's like nothing. 10% of three is 0 0.3, so that's even less than one. Uh, let's get better marines because since we're going to use them anyways British Parliament debates intervention in Scandinavia well I don't think that's really going to happen when Ireland is gone I don't think you really have a good time going to try to invade Scandinavia and I'll let you know as a secret that I'm going to spoil oh there it is ex ex execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil um, the British Empire or I guess the United Kingdom is completely out of fuel like, I already checked between this episode and the last. There literally is no fuel left in the kingdom of the United, the British Empire, the United Kingdom, whatever. Alright, so what we're waiting on right now are is the ability to produce strategic bombers. Because once we have that, and enough air superiority, we will have to go ahead and maybe get Japan to surrender. Because this is the event I was waiting for. Execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. The recent successful test of a nuclear bomb offers an alternative to a full-scale invasion of the Japanese home islands. Intelligence suggests that if we wrest control of Okinawa and Iwo Jima away from the Japanese and reduce their fleet to a mere 30 ships striking two places in the home islands with nuclear bombs in rapid succession will compel the Japanese government to, su to surrender unconditionally. And since we're playing with historical focuses on, that might just work. Maybe. They do have... Definitely less than 10 ships. I mean, less than 30 ships, yeah. Senator retires. Well, whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm going to continue producing maybe a few another nuclear reactor in Tennessee because they, they love nukes, right? And, God, I've, I've had so much time to build up the United States. Look at all the infrastructure. It's so good here. Even places like Iowa have great infrastructure. That's insane. Even the Deep South. Even... Louisiana has great infrastructure. I am such a good presidential dictator. Oh, I love democracy. Anyways. Uh, basically, we're just going to wait here. As much as I really want to invade Japan, and I know I can do a good job at, of it, we're just going to have to wait at the moment. Uh, There's not, not a lot of divisions. Uh, what are you guys doing? You guys are over in Wake Island. Come to Okinawa, which is probably being flooded with a lack of supplies by now, but, you know, whatever. We need at least two nukes, which isn't bad. Especially since we're waiting for how many more days until... A week! We have a week until we can get a strategic, a strategic bummer and then have a good time doing so. So once we have the Japanese basically surrender, if it goes all according to plan, that would reopen up a good portion of India. We would hopefully get all of you know, what was known as China under our belt as well. And hopefully liberate the Australian military service members currently, as well as New Zealand, uh, to help in their fight against the Axis, which even maybe mentioning New Zealand might be a bad idea at this point. God. Oh, no. Oh, it's just, come on. Oh. Oh, did we get it? I think we got it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get those flying fortresses. Love you. And you know what? Let's make... Let's make three. Eh, I don't know. I'm pulling them off my artillery since we have 81 pieces, 81,000 pieces of artillery. They love shooting down my planes in exchange for the convoys. We definitely need a lot more medium tanks, but we're, we're trying to finish up the modern tanks since our tanks are currently 40 width, and I'm trying to convert our medium tanks, which I have barely used at all, to modern tanks. Good, 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 good. Ace pilot promoted. I want at least, I don't know, eventually a full wing of... Oh, look at heavy fighters. But more than just heavy fighters. I don't know why I did this twice. I definitely want those strategic bombers. 
Uh, if we have to invade, yeah, just do the home islands. Just give us as much strength as possible. Oh, they have a lot of fighters around there. Holy cow. But adding a couple more, two more hundred would definitely help balance us out a little bit more. They are scrambling 70% of our planes, which is kind of insane to think about. Oh, even we have even better landing craft. But this should definitely help with adding 200 more fighters. Okay, then. Armored infantry. Let's get more mobilization speed, even though we are pretty much mobilized already. I mean, that'll probably give you more manpower more quickly. Well, it gives you manpower quickly. It doesn't give you more manpower. It gives you manpower more quickly if you have more mobilization. So that opens up Women's Armed Service Integration Act when we need it when we go to war with the Axis. Now that so we have, since we have that done, I'm still using 1936 carriers, which is, in my opinion, more than fine for whatever we need. Uh, once this war is over, though, I want to upgrade my ships and whatnot. Ooh, fire control methods. Light attacks. Ooh, 10%. Jesus Christ, that's so good. Uh, let's get this, since we will be invading quite a bit, probably. Oh, right. Do we have any planes yet? For strategic bombers. Naval, we've got a ton of naval bombers, which would be great. Especially against the Axis uh, Navy. Uh, how long does it take for us to produce two a month? All right, then. Three, almost four a month. We almost have one strategic bomber. I'm probably going to need at least two. There we go, we've got one. One... Count it one whole strategic bomber. Awesome. At least be ready to be deployed, even though I know I can use the nukes now. Uh, ooh, Grum Grumman F6F Hellcats. Awesome. Let's get the next naval bomber set going. Let's see. Carrier fighters, which we're not making any of, which is probably not a good idea. Uh, we need more rubber and chromium. Oh, yeah, Brazil. Yeah, thanks. You finally can support me with an appropriate amount of rubber. Well, there's more of it. I'm not definitely not trading with the Germans or the Italians. I'm surprised I can still trade with them. I guess we have high enough relations with them that we can still trade. Uh, Cuba, give me a little bit more of your tasty, tasty chromium. I'm not supporting the national Spain, Germany, Free France. Actually, I will support Free France. I don't want to use up all those civilian factories because civilian factories are still very useful. Mm, could go with total mobilization. But it kind of hurts how much manpower we can get right now. I would lose... I would only have 2%... Um, eligible core population available if I did that. I don't know. Oh, wait. We actually have another slot here. Commando, Special Forces, Attack and Defense, Army Logistics. Uh, Army Logistics is okay. I prefer, like, less supply usage than attrition, but, you know, whatever. Strategic Bombing. Bomber Attack, Defense, and Agility. Actually, Jimmy Doolittle could be something I never choose, but their Attack, Defense, and Agility could be very strategic, with Strategic Bombing included... When you want to do more damage to the enemy's infrastructure and stuff like that. I love close air support, of course. Naval air defense could be great as well. Ground support, ugh. Uh, let's go with strategic bombing, just because I never use it. I never ever go for this, but you know what? Time for a little bit of a change, right? Ah, so goes another Japanese sub. And uh, we have two bombers. Strategic bombers ready to go. With 11 ships, with this event going very well. Or I guess we have technically basically two years to do it. I will eventually try to nuke a couple areas. Let's see. We need at least 75% air strategic superiority. Oh, they prepared themselves too well. God dang it. Um, well then. Well then. Japan. Uh, I mean, I can always... Oh. Looks like everyone just took a few casualties there. Increase the amount of fighters. Ooh, LVT-4 buffaloes. Nice. Um, artillery is pretty much done. We could do our rocket artillery, anti-air. We could get motorized rocket artillery. That'd be cool. Don't really need it, though. Anti-tank, never use it. I probably actually will need to use it against the Germans, though. Anti-air is very good to have. And we're done with that, of course. Naval stuff. Air doctrine, we are finishing up. Air. Oh, we have, oh, we have one nuke. We already have one nuke. I didn't even... You notice that close air support uh let's get more let's get oh that's 268 days ahead god dang it logistics because trying to land in a place is always pretty difficult to do can i upgrade this no darn i wish you could upgrade more equipment that you could have but whatever yeah we must eh, that's, that might be too much that's better that's better all right i'm expecting a lot more uh naval losses once we go to war with the axis to be honest but that's pretty much to be expected. Oh, we have... Okay, so we have 81.2% air superiority. They are still scrambling a lot of our planes, but 
And we're still taking quite a few planes losses against them because they're using normal planes and I'm using heavy fighters, but you know, whatever. I probably have enough planes to counter that. They're doing interception, but can they do enough interception to stop me from <laughs> creating anime? Okay. All right, so holy crap. So finally, if we nuke Japan right now in February 5th, 1945, they will lose 14% war support. How much war support do they currently have? They have, holy crap, 100%. Oh, and actually, I've already been lowering their war support by 12% through weekly bombings. Awesome. I guess they have a new pride of the fleet as well. If I nuke Kagoshima, that was dropping by that much. It's worth three victory points. Oh, wait. Oh, I only one nuke. That's okay. That's okay. I wanted to see what would happen with the nuclear bomb. And this gives it... Did I zoom in that way or did this game zoom in? I don't think I zoomed in. <gasps> the atomic bombing of Nagas... Of Kagoshima. Nuclear bomb originally intended for Koruka. Kokura was detonated today over Nagasaki. This is probably banned in Japan now. Weather conditions forced the planes to divert their mission. A combination of smoke, clouds, and technical difficulties being deciding factors in an event that may well change history. The effects of the bomb were contained somewhat by the city's location in a valley, but the damage is still severe. Some military installations were struck, but the catastrophic civilian losses overshadow them by far. It may take decades before we know the long-term effects of this weapon with certainty, which also helped with us striking against their airplane ports, or air bases. Airplane ports? What the hell, Mr. Mocha Lover? Anyways, as well as infrastructure, which is now at 5 out of 7. Uh, don't worry, Nagasaki, you are totally not going to get hit. Totally not. And they're... Oh my god, what happened? National... You can't even tell that's national Spain. That looks like South Africa. Oh, the United Kingdom surrounded. Oh, that's so not good. Oh, Germany has so much time to prepare themselves against me. But that's okay. That's totally okay, right? So many of these things. Alright, so we should have a nuke within 13 days. 12 days. And it looks like the Japanese are still very, very resisting any sort of capitulation offer. And things like that. Shame on you, Japan. You will literally commit genocide against your own people before you give up. Uh, well, it's not genocide. It's just... Well, I just said the G word, so I've probably been demonetized if I were to ever monetize this. But, regardless, modern politics aside, you're going to suicide your nation, Japan. And if that's what you want, so be it. I've pretty much given up trying to... Uh, Look at the convoy. More of a nuke, but we need to have air superiority, which we do not currently have. Alright, and we have a nuke. Represent what? You criticize me after I nuke Japan? Oh, actually, I, I can see that happening. You nuke Japan, you're not supposed to, you know, make them go boom that much. You can only make your enemies go kaboom so much before it's a very good no, 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 no. Holy crap, they have a ton of chromium. Alright, uh, god dang it, I just I was looking at something else on the screen, and I just saw that this... Alright, so we're gonna go slow here. Pause the game. We can drop a nuclear bomb. We have just enough uh, superiority to do it, I believe. Let's go ahead and do it. This might force Japan to capitulate. They are now at less than 100% war support. Holy cow. They have a ton of divisions, though. And Nagasaki has been... Socked with an oak. All right, so will fail is executed. Um. Okay, then that's all you have to do to do that. Okay, what? Wait, wait, what was a peace conference? We just had a peace conference. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm at peace with them. Uh, um, to be honest with you right now, I'm just letting time go on to see if there's some sort of event we might get, which usually happens in when awkward events do happen, so I'm just kind of waiting it out at the moment. Since we're not at war, we're pretty much at peace with a lot of stability, a lot of hope. Uh, the Dominion of India is back, as well as a lot of the provinces down. I don't think there's going to be any sort of event. Foreign arsenal of democracy. What the? Operation Cat. What is going on? Why don't I have them as a puppet? 
Why is it a white piece? I don't understand. I would have invaded if this was to be normal. Ah, uh, well. Oh, and let's change our focus. And we could probably end it here and give me a little bit of time for me to basically sculpt East Asia for what it should be F between this episode and the next. So I'm going to end here, guys. Between this episode and the next, I'm going to basically annex all these enemy nations that were, that were enemies against us. And um, basically turn them into a puppet. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. You were defeated, man. But regardless, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And tomorrow you will see East Asia, pretty much a good chunk of China, as, as well as Korea, Japan, and down here as well become a part of the Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance. Thank you very much for watching, guys.